Uh, 4-3-3 formation. Yeah, it's quite simple, Peter, really, with the ball, it's 4-3-3, and without the ball, it becomes 4-5-1. So it's down to business here. And it's Tadic. Blint. Tadic tries lifting it over. A chance to play it in. Oh, and he's got good distance. Who's chasing? He's in! Forward it goes. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Place it into the channel. Tries a through ball. Certain amount of room for debate here, but a goal kick's been given. Efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Just brushed off the ball there. Tadic. Ball's out on the left now. So what's he planning here? He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And it's Veltman. Joel Veltman. Blint. Tadic. Now the pass. Keeper goes long. Long and high towards the flank. Gets into some space. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Turns and goes back. That's gone a long way up and away. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Zayek looks like a good ball through. It's got through to him, and he's onside. Tadic pushes it out wide. Zayek, can he put it away? brings the first half to a close. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How would you review the first half? Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil nil. Just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Shot a goal! A oh, great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. They've come out of the dressing room firing on all cylinders now. We could be in for quite a second half here. Chance to break. Sayek. Plays it long. He'll have a dip! 
breakthrough. All over in seconds. That's what they can do to you. That's just brilliant counter-attacking football. And as soon as possession was theirs, it triggered a move of devastating speed that was just too hot to handle. Ajax take the lead, 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. He's had a shot! Atwell are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Where to next? Your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Up well, showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is. He's gone for it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. It so nearly came off for him. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. Tries to stroke it through. And the shot! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Oh, it was such a clever pass that flummoxed the defence, and it could well be revisited, this. Tadic is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, now that he scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. And the weighted pass. Now here's the through ball. It is a corner. <laughs> here's a change that was in the offing. Last one allowed. Atwell making two changes as we speak. No, he didn't quite meet it right. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. Played out to the wing. Who's loose? Who's getting there? There is the final whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it, but that was enough. Yeah, it was a, a fairly stern test with very little between two teams that scrapped for everything. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.